Ahoy hoy and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we're going to go over the dankest memes <laughs> from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. So let's just get started. If hating Carl was a job. I love it when memes about SCPs that I wrote show up. This is for um 3213, which is now over plus 700, which... You know, might not be, I don't know if it's the best thing I've ever written, but it's my favorite because it's the highest rated. And that's how the world works. If, if hating Carl was a job, I'd be making stacks on stacks on stacks. I'm, hmm. Yeah. I should definitely. Wait, no, I already did that. I was like, I should definitely make a video for April Fool's where I make fun of Carl. But I think I already made that video. <laughs> so never mind. <laughs> Still, though, stacks on stacks on stacks for hating Carl. Okay, I'm going to read about scary monsters. Damn, some of this shit is fucking sad. This is very true about the SCP wiki. You get into it and you're like, aha, scary monsters, except most of it's not scary monsters. Like, there's a few in there. If it was all scary monsters, it wouldn't be as good. Because you need sort of a palate cleanser on horror. That's just absolutely true. You can't have, you can, to be fair, you, but you really can't have a successful work that is just horrifying from start to finish. You need breaks in that uh, tension or else it starts to become very samey very quickly and then people lose interest and stop being scared. If the monster always kills the heroes... <laughs> Every time he encounters them, then there's no tension. You know what's going to happen in the story. Same thing goes for the SCP Wiki. Some of the articles are not scary. Some of the articles are not horrifying. Um, and and it, it sort of works together in a, um, a symbiotic relationship. Because for the horror stuff, you need a break. And then for the other stuff, sometimes the horror element on the outskirts, on the periphery of the stories makes you worry about what might happen in this story. And then, you know, it doesn't go the way you're expecting, which is oftentimes fun. I dispense wisdom. What is your wisdom? There is no canon does not mean the things under, not under the Creative Commons license or SCPs. That's a good wisdom. I think more accurately, there is no canon does not mean that everything can and or is, can be and or is, an SCP because that's not how it works. If it's on the wiki, then it is a canon of some kind. This is the problem, I think, with using there is no canon, which it's so ingrained, I don't think it's going anywhere. But the truth is, there are infinite canons, right? And if you and your brain want to think up something like, but don't tell other people that it's true, that's the that's the trick. When my. <laughs> If my nephew, who I've uh, spoken of on uh, multiple occasions, were to say that Siren Head is an SCP, which he did at one point, and I corrected him on it, uh, out loud to someone else as part of like an informative thing, which is exactly how it happened, that's the, that's the mistake. If he wants to think it, like, wouldn't it be cool if, that's fine. But don't go telling other people that it's true. That's all I'm saying the rest of the world you are known for the scp community being one of the largest horror writing communities fighting a legal battle against andrew Doxon. peanut you know the problem with this uh is putting peanut on the left instead of on the right uh, close but no cigar oh i didn't even notice that that's funny oh my god i was like watching this and like i didn't even notice that um SCP-173 was in the image. Wow, that's funny that I completely missed that. But still, Peanut should have been on the right-hand side, not on the left-hand side. That would have made that joke uh, better. Creating a zombie. Because the, um, the joke is that she's saying Peanut at the very end, like super disappointed and sad that that's what they're known for, instead of him saying it. So... Creating a zombie plague, a giant homicidal lizard, and hundreds of other monstrosities. <laughs> Finding a strange path in the woods. Yeah, maybe you should... I, I think this was the title of the post, but maybe you should have left well enough alone. <laughs> this is true. Like, ending the world because you found a strange path in the woods? Maybe don't do that? 
Uh, I cherish normalcy with all my heart. I don't care how many women and children I need to kill to get it. I um I only included this because I thought it was really really funny and sort of appropriate to use Peacemaker as the GOC, or at least the classic interpretation of the GOC. Of you know, because Peacemaker's like uh, wants to kill everyone to get peace. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, but yeah, doing that. I thought that 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 was an that's an inspired choice. Good on you. You haven't actually read any tales. You just referenced them. Me, the stars do not wait for you. Documents recovered from the Marinaris trench. Maybe until death. <laughs> yeah. There's not a lot. There's people who are like, I read tales. Okay, which tales have you read? And they can name like two. I kind of got through some of Until Death, but then I stopped. Okay, maybe you're right. The Chaos Insurgency. Anything happened. I bet the Foundation did this. I have zero context for this meme, but I, but I like it. It's like the one earlier. It's just like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. SCP-173 fans. SCP-173 is to, has to be redesigned. The picture is stolen. No, it has to stay. 3213 fans. Man, fuck Carl. Yeah, fuck Carl. Yeah, 3213 is fun. It's mine. It's all mine. <laughs> uh, I, I still say it. I mean, look, just because you get permission after the fact doesn't make the original thing you did right. And the better, best way to make it right is to not put the burden on somebody who clearly, if you read the correspondence, clearly would like you to stop using his work, but is like, fine, whatever, I don't want to be a dick about it. So you're putting the burden on him to be like, oh, okay, well, you know, now you don't have to be a dick about it. We'll go ahead and take advantage of your generosity. How about you just fix the problem permanently and not put the burden on the other guy? Doctor, it's oh, but it's so important. Is the image that important? Is it really? SCP Doctor Who blink Doctor Who SCP. What happens after? Wait. Oh wait, no. What happens after is different than what I was thinking. I was thinking about how uh, SCP does the uh, end of death canon, which I think postdates, not predates, but postdates the Doctor Who, uh, or not Doctor Who Torchwood was it that did the the world of Earth without death thing for a little while. I don't know, maybe Doctor... Well, what? I mean, the idea that uh, you experience bad things after you die, it's not exactly an original concept either. So, Just like uh, the Weeping Angels isn't particularly original. Like, the idea of a statue that moves when you're not looking at it, that goes back a while in, in mythology and in history. So it's not like it's a completely original idea. I guess in these particular cases, it's not like they're stealing this. Well, I mean, no, he is. He's, that's the, the implication is, is that he's copying off of somebody else's work. So it's not really even an inspiration thing so much as it is just straight up lifting. Uh, whenever some end of the world scenario or something similar happens, the serpent's hand. Adios. <laughs> you know, I've never actually looked too closely at this, but what's going on with this guy's feet? Oh, those aren't shoes. Those that's like the the floor that he's standing on, but like little parts of it. I think I don't know. Something he's standing on something, but I can't quite make out what it is in the picture because it's a little blurry down there. Anyway, and merged in with the galaxy of space time. Now the serpent's hand does generally generally tend to be like, yeah, I'm not I'm not doing that, and then retreats into the library because they can. Although that says something about them, I think. <laughs> I will escape and slaughter everything. Nothing can die anymore. <laughs> well, now you know how the SCP Foundation feels, all right? No, nah, anyway, I think that's the last one. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, head on over to patreon.com forward slash d sumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has that's right i'm doing things in a different order and then hit the subscribe button like come on man hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when i upload new videos and then 
No, that's it. I already did the Patreon thing. <laughs> I'll get this right eventually. It's nice to know that I'm not alone out here, though. And I will see you all again on Thursday.